blow hot condemns act of war by the Nigerian army. IPOP recounted the sad ordeal of how some innocent people were assaulted and arrested by the military men, alleging that they were harboring Eastern Security Network and IPOP men. The indigenous people of Biafra has condemned the Nigerian government for recently launching air and land attacks on Olu community in each of Eastern Security Network operatives. IPOP described the attack in the southeast on Thursday as a declaration of war on innocent citizens. The media and publicity secretary of IPOP, Ima Powerful, said this is a press statement made available to Sahara reporters on Friday. Sahara reporters had reported attacks by the military on Olu communities in Imo State, which has mm -hmm. worsened the already built up tension in the area. Sahara reporters learned that the attacks were connected with the military's resolve to dislodge the Eastern Security Network operatives said to have strong hold in the forest. The Eastern Security Network operatives in January had a bloody clash with the Nigerian army from Obinze barracks where four soldiers were reportedly killed. Nigerian soldiers are currently conducting area strike in our areas. Many innocent lives may be lost. They are probably looking for Eastern Security Network operatives who are checking the activities of killer Fulani headsmen, a community head told Sahara reporters. People, homes and marketplaces may be affected. We don't need aircraft in Olo. They should go and find the stolen school pupils in Niger State, another resident said. Reacting to this distress incident, IPOP spokesperson said, We, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Namkano, wish to bring to the attention of the whole world that the Nigerian military has at least brought war to Biafran land. Supported by other security agencies, including police and the Department of State Services, DSS, they came with military gates tanks and heavy war equipment against us. Yes, the second Nigerian Biafran war has begun. The war began on Thursday, February 18th, 2021. The wicked Nigerian military has simultaneously launched both land and air attacks on us. After the genocidal war of 1967 to 1970, in which they killed over 5 million innocent Biafrans, they have come again to bomb the Biafrans under the pretext that they are hunting the gallant personnel of Eastern Security Network ESN, guarding our forest against killer headsmen and Boko people on a rampage in our land. He also recounted the sad ordeal of how some innocent people were assaulted and arrested by the military men, alleging that they were harboring Eastern Security Network and IPOC men. Days before the raid, the first abducted Harbour Synagogue priest, Mazi Egule, and his household, branding them IPOC members. Then, on February 16th, they abducted Mrs. Ngozi Umedi, who they learned took care of those injured persons during the NSAS protest. Not done yet, they took Dr. Stephen Irochi of Multi Care Hospital and some injured and SARS protesters from Obibo receiving treatment at the hospital. With this, the oppressive government of the dead President Momo Borari, now run by the Fulani cabals, has confirmed that it is the chief sponsor of terrorism and banditry going on in our land. The satanic government, which could not defend Biafran against incessant unprovoked attacks against indigenous Nigerians has now mobilized its land and efforts against Eastern Security Network patriotically and voluntarily doing the job that Nigerian security forces wickedly refuse to do.
the crime of Eastern Security Network is defending locals against Fulani headsmen. Thank you for listening to this news. All these are the atrocities we committed. Yet, we are still pressing down, bearing it, and saying, all will be well, all will be well, all will be well. My dear, it's no longer, people are no longer smiling. Yes, now it is true that the Nigerian army is truly out for the Biafrans. This is what they are actually looking for and they have indirectly gotten it. Our Igbo governors that have been in support of them hope their eyes are wide open to see to be seeing what is happening. Or are they still asleep? If they are asleep, they should better wake up because they must finish what they have started. They must finish it because no man, no man will begin a journey without finishing it. See what they are doing to their own brothers causing unrest in the community, killing innocent people, all in the name of we are looking for Eastern Security Network personnel. How? Is this how to look for them? Is this how to look for them? Is this? Hmm. My dear, we are not, we are not saved anymore. We are not saved anymore. If nothing is done now, I'm afraid, in the Southeast will be more than this. And they are even talking. Governor Uzodima is saying that they are, that they are not going to leave the affected uh, area until peace is restored. How is peace going to be restored with this kind of attack? How? <laughs> I'm just confused. Please, my dear viewers, I will appreciate if you come in and air your own opinion concerning this. Okay? Deem it fit to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.